In any industry, there's a simple rule. Anything that rises is bound to fall. Boeing is a prime example of this. Once known for its groundbreaking achievements in aerospace, like its involvement in the Apollo missions and the development of iconic rockets such as the Saturn V, Boeing was a company that set industry standards for quality and innovation. However, over the years, Boeing has shifted its focus toward profit over product quality, and this shift has had serious consequences. Today's Boeing is far from the industry leader it used to be. The company has been facing one setback after another, and 2024 has been particularly challenging. Instead of making headlines for advancements, Boeing is in the news for ongoing issues, the most significant being its troubled Starliner program. Designed as a spacecraft to transport astronauts to the International Space Station, Starliner has struggled with technical failures, including one incident that left astronauts unable to complete a planned mission. Recently, Boeing has had to make some difficult decisions regarding Starliner, and while these steps are aimed at addressing the issues, there's concern that they may add to Boeing's already significant challenges. In today's video, we'll be looking at what's gone wrong with Starliner, what Boeing's recent decisions mean for the program, and the impact this could have on the company's future. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe for updates on the latest developments in the space industry. Let's get started. One of the main reasons Boeing faced criticism was its leadership, particularly CEO David Calhoun's high salary. In 2023, Calhoun's pay package rose to $32.8 million, a 45% increase over the previous year. This pay hike was controversial given Boeing's ongoing financial and operational difficulties. Lawmakers, including Senator Josh Hawley, raised concerns about Calhoun's salary during a Senate hearing in 2024, questioning how Boeing could justify such high executive compensation amid persistent quality and safety issues. To address its challenges, Boeing appointed a new CEO, Kelly Ortberg, in August 2024. Ortberg, who had previously led Rockwell Collins, was brought in to stabilize Boeing with a focus on engineering and manufacturing. In his first earnings call with analysts, Ortberg faced questions from financial analysts and regulators as he reported a $6.2 billion loss for the quarter. Ortberg acknowledged that a substantial portion of these losses came from Boeing's Starliner program, which incurred another $250 million in costs this quarter, bringing its total losses to roughly $1.8 billion. The thing is, although Starliner is part of NASA's contract, it operates under a different type of contract. The program was launched as part of NASA's commercial crew program, with the goal of creating two reliable U.S. spacecraft to transport astronauts to the International Space Station and reduce reliance on foreign space agencies. Boeing and SpaceX were chosen as the main contractors, each tasked with developing separate spacecraft, Boeing's Starliner and SpaceX's Dragon. Unlike Dragon, however, Starliner was developed under a fixed-price contract. This contract type meant that any cost overruns or delays were Boeing's responsibility, rather than NASA's, which added financial strain each time the program encountered issues. Since its inception, Starliner's development has been impacted by various technical issues and setbacks, including software errors and propulsion problems. A critical test flight in 2019 showed that a software glitch caused the spacecraft to miss its orbit and return to Earth prematurely. These technical issues not only delayed the program, but forced Boeing to cover significant additional costs under the fixed-price contract putting the company under further financial pressure. Originally, NASA planned for Starliner to be operational by early 2024, expecting it to serve as an additional crew transport option to the International Space Station. However, due to delays, NASA had to rely more heavily on SpaceX's Dragon, which had progressed more consistently and on schedule. Since its first successful flight, Dragon has become a primary transportation solution for NASA, having completed numerous missions to the International Space Station. Dragon's development was also under a contract with more flexible terms, allowing SpaceX to adapt quickly to challenges without the same financial penalties Boeing faced. 
Although Starliner faced issues from the start, the most recent malfunction, where astronauts were left stranded on the International Space Station, highlighted that the program might not meet NASA's expectations. During this mission, Starliner encountered a propulsion issue shortly after launch. The problem prevented it from reaching the correct orbit needed to dock with the International Space Station. This was due to a software glitch that caused the spacecraft to fire its thrusters incorrectly, depleting fuel, and making it impossible to complete the planned rendezvous with the International Space Station. As a result, NASA had no choice but to recall Starliner to Earth prematurely, without completing the mission objectives or carrying astronauts. The astronauts remained on the International Space Station, waiting for an alternate solution to bring them back safely. NASA quickly coordinated with SpaceX, whose Dragon spacecraft has consistently proven to be a reliable option. SpaceX stepped in to schedule an additional mission to retrieve the stranded crew, as Dragon was already certified for safe astronaut transport to and from the International Space Station. As of now, NASA has scheduled a SpaceX Crew Dragon mission to bring the astronauts home safely, with a targeted return date in the coming months, likely early next year. NASA's original intent in awarding contracts to both Boeing and SpaceX was to encourage competition and ensure redundancy. If one provider faced issues, the other could fill the gap. However, with SpaceX's Dragon consistently meeting expectations, NASA has been able to meet its crew transport needs through a single provider, leaving Boeing Starliner in a secondary position. This has raised questions about whether Starliner can become fully operational in time to meet NASA's requirements before the International Space Station is retired, likely by the late 2020s. The fact that Boeing received nearly double the funding from NASA for the commercial crew program compared to SpaceX, $4.2 billion for Starliner versus $2.6 billion for Dragon, Yet SpaceX successfully launched the Dragon spacecraft with crew as early as 2020 has put immense pressure on Boeing. Given these ongoing setbacks, Boeing is reportedly considering a strategic exit from its space operations, including a potential sale of the Starliner program. The decision to possibly divest from Starliner comes as Boeing continues to struggle with financial and operational challenges. The company has already accumulated over $1.8 billion in cost overruns related to the program, largely due to its fixed-price contract with NASA, which requires Boeing to absorb any additional expenses stemming from delays or technical issues. This arrangement has placed Boeing in a difficult position, as each technical problem with Starliner directly affects its finances, making the program a costly venture without a clear path to profitability. Companies such as Blue Origin and Sierra Space have shown interest in expanding their capabilities, and acquiring a crewed space transport program like Starliner could align with their goals. However, the discussions are still in the early stages and no formal offer or sale has been confirmed. Ironically, Boeing's other partially owned company is also up for sale, and that is United Launch Alliance. For those who aren't familiar, United Launch Alliance is a joint venture between Boeing and Lockheed Martin, created in 2006 to handle launch services for the U.S. government and commercial clients. Now, both Boeing and Lockheed Martin are considering selling United Launch Alliance with potential buyers like Sierra Space. The sale of United Launch Alliance could be valued between $2 billion and $3 billion. This decision comes as Boeing and Lockheed Martin reassess their business priorities in response to rising competition and financial pressures within the space industry. For Boeing, which is already dealing with financial strain from its Starliner program, Selling its stake in United Launch Alliance would be a way to simplify its operations and focus on its main businesses, like commercial airplanes and military systems. Sierra Space's interest in buying United Launch Alliance aligns with its goal of expanding its role in the space sector. If Sierra Space acquires United Launch Alliance, it would gain established launch facilities, a lineup of proven launch vehicles, and contracts with the U.S. government which would strengthen its position in a market led by companies like SpaceX. That's all for today's update. Make sure to subscribe for more future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.